Aries, forget the script, for in truth there is none. Be the expression of love that you truly are. Something that you have been working towards manifestation-wise, be this a goal or healing of a relationship, has been working underneath the radar here to become a reality for you. Something in the way of healing, something in the way of manifesting, is working its way finally into this reality for you. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Aries friends. Thank you guys for joining me here and welcome to my table. If you're new here, hello, you guys. My name is Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here. Pull up a chair. And if you're returning, it's good to see you guys again. Thank you for your love and, and support. You can grab a chair too, or you can stand, whatever works for you, okay? So my Aries friends, let's go ahead and get into your message here. I have been uh, wanting to get to your message here actually for the last few days, and there have been just distractions, things coming up that needed to be taken care of, you know, being human, right? Uh, I do feel like this is a part of your message. It feels like there are things maybe that are distracting that... Um, it feels like like with me, like I said, uh, that they needed to be taken care of, but it's also distracting from something that you want to participate in. So uh, let's get into your messages here. There were a few things that came through in meditation and Oracle cards were pulled and we'll get into the tarot as we do. So Aries, the first thing that came through was oddity. And this is actually a message that took me two different um, sit downs here of channeling messages here for you. So the first time I sat down here a few days ago or a couple days ago, I was given the word oddity. And then I was given this shape. Um, I guess I can just show you here. It's not functional for you guys, but this little like two triangle system set up there. I was shown oddity and that was it. So um, when I don't have an answer or a message right away. I, I know that this always comes through in the card. So we'll get to that in sitting down today before filming and channeling a little bit more. There were some things that came through that are making this come together a little bit. So the first thing that I was the word I was given here, I thought it was diocese, but it's actually diocese. So um, I have done a lot of music in my own life. I have never actually heard this term diocese. It is uh, somewhat of a, a dying word as far as the use of it. There are many different uses of it here, though. So let's get into this. So the first one that stood out to me here is in regards to music. What is a diocese, you ask? So the difference between um, an octave, so like C to C is an octave, right? Um, and three justly tuned majors is the way that they put this. And you can have greater diocese or, or lesser diocese. It's, it's all... Um, the difference between a full octave and these three justly tuned majors. Okay, so I don't want to pretend like I know super well about that, but what was sticking out right away was this difference, this oddity, right? Something that is uh, doesn't quite fit into the expected mold of the octave. Hmm? Uh, the other things that came through on that, so the double cross um, or sword, double sword, so it's a vertical line and then two horizontal lines. It can be used as um, like a tertiary footnote. They also use the symbol to represent when somebody died, like death, or that in combination with OBS equals obsolete. Okay, so all of these things are still pointing to this component, like something, this oddity, something that is no longer a part of who you are, something that is uh, maybe never was, um, but I also get this vibe of it's, it's useful or it was useful in some way too. There's a purpose for this. Okay. And especially with the diocese, the musical inclination, we're talking about math. And when we're talking about math, we're talking about the language of the universe. <laughs> we're talking about the language of God, right? Um, there isn't a, an accident in that kind of communication is what I'm trying to say. So Interested to get into this a little bit further. The next thing that I was shown was actually one of those, um, I don't even know what you call them. I said water maze, um, where you've got like two little buttons that have air that you push around and maybe a plastic little floaty thing. I just saw this kind of maze. Uh, what that made me think of was perspective. So 
let's say you're in this maze here as a two-dimensional object, you're not going to see the full scope of what you may see as you're playing this game here. Um, so something about perspective coming through. So the two Oracle cards to start you guys off here, Blue Angel Oracle is what Spirit wanted to work with. So you got Life Everlasting and Golden Light. I like that these two, it's six and seven here too. So this process of growth, um, taking steps to move forward. So life everlasting here to start, this is about your immortal nature. This is where this concept of forget the script. For in truth, there, there is none. This is where this comes from. You are love. You are an expression of love. And it's important to be that expression of love. With golden light here coming through, this is about integrity. Integrity, 555 five, five here on the timer as well, major change. I do feel like you guys are in a time of major change for yourselves. So golden light, integrity, Some this is where something is um, coming into fruition here in the form of manifestation or of healing a relationship. Something that you've been working towards. This isn't just, you know, something that's you know, appearing one day, uh, you've been putting work into this, okay? Because of your integrity and motivation or consistency in putting work to this, this is the this is the reward, okay, that comes through here. The book also mentions that that same integrity that is needed to get you to this place will continue to inspire others around you as this becomes manifest. So you're doing a good job. All right, Aries, I love to see that to start. Um, so let's get in a little bit further here. One second. I'm already getting some dry mouth. I feel like this is going to be a good message. Okay. Where are we going here, Spirit? We'll do, um, I did get a new animal deck here, the familiar field. I feel like we're going to pull one of each. So for Aries, please, Spirit, additional messages for Aries. The worm. Hmm. Um, vibration, regeneration, and simplicity. <laughs> so this is interesting already. Uh, the vibration definitely standing out to me here because we were talking about the diocese and, well, frequency, vibration, all of that. Um, something about the... Mm, maybe, okay. There's a little bit of motivation here in this message for somebody or for, for all of you that you are close here with the golden light to something being made manifest or a relationship healing. This could be a relationship to yourself too. I feel like this is a, with regeneration. I, I feel like the relationship component and simplicity. Um, what I'm getting is the acronym KISS. Keep it simple, stupid, right? What I What's coming through on this is to not overthink where you are right now, to be aware that the work you are putting into something is going somewhere and to not back off of that. Keep your vibration where it needs to be. Okay, let's pull um, let's pull an animal spirit oracle card here for you as well. Eight eighteen on the timer. Ooh, dragon, you guys, cool. The dragon. So the dragon. This is um, this is the um, solar plexus chakra. Okay, I am. This is the energy when we look in the mirror and we see that spark looking back at us from our own eyes. That is the dragon energy. The great I am energy, this ego energy, healthy ego energy, okay, confidence. So whatever this is that's healing or coming coming through, I'd wager that it's been a little bit tricky, a little bit of a sticky wicket here for a minute for you guys. I love this energy to start, though. I feel like we're moving into some really good things. Okay. Tarot. So which decks are we using here, Spirit? Start with the Crow Tarot. Crow Tarot for Aries, please, Spirit. What in the hell's going on for Aries these days? <laughs> Four of Swords here at the split. So healing of the heart is a component of that. It seems like the message is, is heading right to healing, you guys. Regeneration. Even with the, the diocese, that oddity in music in that way, I'm brought to like healing frequencies. You can produce your own healing frequencies. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Three of Swords here, too. There's your heartbreak that you're healing from. The Four of Swords has the Three of Swords up on the wall. That's the heartbreak or loss that they may be healing from. This does feel like it's a relationship for, for some of you, okay? 
um, something healing in that vein. And huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello, hello. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there's a link in the description of the video. There's also a join button right next to the subscribe. Feel free to hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I do have personal readings open and available if you're looking for some help with something a little bit more particular to you. I do have a link to my website in the description of the video too. Feel free to check it out. The Emperor here at the bottom. So this is your hopes, hopes and dreams. Um, this is you. This is your, this is your card. <laughs> uh, very Mars energy, very, very Aries. Very thoughtful, very demure, right? <laughs> this is your personal power. So being being your card in this situation here too, as far as a hope, I do feel like there is this awareness or cognizance that there is a vibration or component of yourself that you have been missing. And I'm putting this in quotes here. Um, that feels like it's been missing. You're wanting to get back to you, your own vibe, okay? It does feel like, yeah, relationship, relationship you're in currently, relationship that's happened in the past um, may have left you feeling a little bit less than shiny, okay? I feel like this coming through here, a presence is also a component of that. You guys are hoping to come a little bit more into the present moment or to be able to enjoy the present moment. Hmm. Curious Travels deck here for the second one. I've already started shuffling. Judgment at the split to start. So this process of um, hearing and heeding the call to make changes within ourselves. There's an old life that you're moving away from. There's rot of some sort you're moving away from and moving towards where there is new life. Okay, what do we have here for Aries, please, spirit? What do we have for... <laughs> Aries. Nine of Cups also there at the split. So a wish come true. I like to see that. Um, this is a general message, you guys. So please keep that in mind. You're very intelligent. So please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you. And feel free to get it the hell out of here if it's not your message. All right. Okie dokie. And check out any other major placements in your chart or any. We do have all signs in our chart. It just depends on which house. So you can check that out uh, where you have Aries and which house that's in, and you can get a little bit more of an idea on how Aries affects your experience here, okay? Page of Pentacles here at the bottom. So this is your fear, fear aversion. I feel um, some of you are aware that you're going through this process of change, manifestation. It feels like more of you are aware. This is something, like I said, you are doing this intentionally, whatever is coming manifest, repairing of a relationship, this isn't an accident. This is something that you've been putting your attention towards and your energy towards. Page of Pentacles can be taking something that is existing and making it better, making it new. So the fear here, I feel, along with the timing of this message, is maybe that you're not making progress or that this isn't possible, whatever this is that you guys are working towards. So far, what's coming through is to not, not lose that confidence in yourself, okay? Um, the worm, too, I get this energy, because um, there's a worm in the animal spirit deck here, too. There's an energy around being um, new, uh, needing to start at the beginning of something, maybe being afraid of that or there could be an issue of too much ego, allowing yourself to be a newbie, essentially be a beginner at something. Everybody has to start at the beginning somewhere. So this kind of feels like there's, um, or it does feel like there is this process going on right now to teach you how to really fully step into your power. You're you, your I am. And this may be, um, like what I'm getting is it's not a totally new venture for you, but things have happened to a degree where the layers that have been peeled back where you are right now experiencing life is not somewhere where you've been before. So to get back to a place of really feeling confident and who you are and what you're doing, this is new. OK, it's OK to, to take this ride. All right. 1444 on the timer. 444 support for you guys. So general to start, we have 10 of wands. Yep. We're talking about releasing a major burden. So you guys 
are at an ending point here for transition. You've come to the end of the road. And I think this is why there's this feeling of, um, or a need for encouragement here in this message, keep going. 10 of wands can symbolize, keep going. You're almost at the end here, keep going. Don't give up on yourself. Once you hit this ending point though, and it's time to start again at the ace of wands, get ready uh, for that journey. Get ready to release what needs to be released. What needs to be released? I feel like, I feel like this is a time for Aries to navigate what a healthy ego means to you, okay? Um, the things that are needing to be released or requesting to be released here, I feel, are uh, maybe more shadow aspects of the ego. I am not a proponent for complete ego death. That is, um, I mean, as I get older too, extremes are not are not where it's at, right? We do need some ego, actually. We are here interacting with other personalities. The reason why we have an ego is so that we can have a personality, so that we can connect with other personalities around us. It is actually very important to have some ego. What's coming through here, though, is we're shifting. We're shifting, taking away the components of the ego. We're not participating anymore where it's been causing harm or has been toxic. Maybe this is a component to whatever relationship it is you're trying to heal. Maybe you or this other person had, you know, egos came into the situation and you weren't able to connect in, in a heart-based way. That's kind of what this feels like here. You guys are in a, <laughs> in a cooling off period here to learn to dismiss those components that aren't helpful to you. Okay. Oh, yay. <laughs> and the Empress comes through as well. So healing, healing, nurturing. This is the divine feminine. And you did have the emperor here in your hopes on the bottom. This feels very much like a relationship for somebody. With that coming through in golden light, there's a relationship coming through to be healed. Both the emperor and the empress are the divine counterparts. So um, please take this as it resonates as well, because I do feel like not every this message is not for everyone. There are certain situations where yeah, maybe you do need to walk away from that and not not wait for a relationship to heal or to try to heal a relationship. You know if this is applying to you in a relationship sense, okay? This isn't an, illumin an illumination, it is validation. So if you're in that, in that park there, I do see some healing, some major healing coming forward. But it requires you to release a burden. And mm, it, this feels like both parties, if this is you, are going to need to let go of the past and be willing to move forward. Okay. For those of you that this is a manifestation, um, I love this with the Empress too. We're talking about fertility. So something growing as you are letting go of, it feels like expectations with that worm, the newbie energy of the worm and the dragon, your solar plexus here, you're being asked to um, not be afraid to start again either. I kind of feel for someone, there's a big venture you've been, maybe a business, you've been working to get started, and there is an intense fear in getting this going to the point that it may actually be, you may be self-sabotaging over fear over your own success. Again, that's not for everyone, but for someone here, that is coming through. Do it anyway, okay? It's not going to be, you won't regret it, okay? Okay. So good stuff for you guys here at this time. Oh, <laughs> it feels very relationship heavy. Two of cups, you guys. And this is funny too. <laughs> so connection, relationship, uh, could be business, partnership, friendship, romantic, etc. With both of both the emperor and empress here, I am getting divine counterparts. Okay. Um, <laughs> interesting. The lion here at the top of the caduceus. So the caduceus, first of all, healing, healing. Um, the lion up here represents arrogance. I was just saying that about ego. It feels like ego got in the way here between you and somebody else. And this doesn't have to just be a romantic relationship. Divine counterparts can also be friends. They can also be family members. The way I look at that is it's a deep, deep contract. Okay. So it's a soul contract. So yes, a new relationship for some of you coming through. Those of you that are manifesting like a business, like I was just saying, um, I think some of you could benefit from partnering with others, especially if there is this fear. An accountability buddy, right? 
Cool. All right. What else do we have here, Spirit? <laughs> Ten of Wands comes through. Oh, I love it. You just have that in your general. So being in your good stuff here, this is releasing whatever the burden is on the heart that was creating issues between you and another person. Or for some of you, creating issues in connecting with other people, period. I feel like for some of you, there's a, a deeper desire to connect with others in a deeper way, but there's also a fear surrounding that. I'm being drawn back to the oddity here and the diocese. Um, what I'm getting from that, that's interesting. So we look at a, a, an octave again. What I'm taking from that is this is like, this is normal, an octave to an octave. This is the normal experience. Whatever that is, personality-wise, your laugh, your eye color, whatever. Um, with the diocese coming through in that little bit of an oddity, you are not perfectly fitting into the normal mold, right? Which I, nobody really does anyway. Uh, there's something, though, that discrepancy between the three... Um, the thirds, excuse me, and the octave, that's you. That's your personality. That's your personal flavor. And it feels like something's happened where that's made you feel bad. Back to the dragon here, too. Parent, guardian, friends growing up, like none, nobody gets away uh, unharmed here. But um, something happened where that oddity, that piece inside of you that is specific to you, you were made to feel bad about that. And now we're coming to a point of rectifying this, getting to a place where you feel solid in who you are again, or maybe for the first time. Okay, let's keep going. All right, thank you, Spirit. Damn, you guys, <laughs> that's a good reading. Uh, so what you don't see coming, what's in the dark here? You have King of Wands. So this is um, all kings or leaders, but this is a, a heavy leadership quality or component here. The King of Wands is an excellent facilitator. They get the right team together to get the job done. So from a business standpoint or whatever it is that you're working to manifest here, love to see this. What you don't see is you rising to your own occasion. Very fire energy, very you, right? Um, this is actually uh, Leo energy too. And as we're talking about the dragon and the solar plexus and the ego, Wow, Leo definitely comes to mind. So what, what I see here, you know, maybe you have Leo in your chart or this person that you may be meeting or you know of that you'll be re-meeting, coming back together. Maybe they have a bit of Leo in their chart. What I'm getting is um, you picking up these qualities from someone, some experience. It could be just from yourself. The spark is finally reigniting and you're feeling it. You're feeling yourself, right, Aries? Whatever, wherever that's coming from, what you don't see coming is you doing the damn thing, okay, Arius? You stepping into your power, which is what you were hoping to do. So this is clarified. Damn, <laughs> you guys. It's a good period for Aries. Um, Ten of Cups is what this is clarified by. So what you don't see coming here is a greater connection to um, community in the form of like family. Those people that you really, really feel connected to. So whether this is, maybe there is a family member that you were wanting to heal a relationship with, blood or otherwise, okay? Chosen family is definitely family as well. It's connection to the divine as well, Ten of, ten of Cups. So what you don't see as you are, um, there's something about this component, I'm drawn back to the, the dragon, with the solar plexus here. It feels like there is um, some blockages a little bit of constipation energetically. If we have blocks in any of the chakras here, we can't connect in, in clear ways, okay, to the divine and to the earth, the divine. So what you don't see coming here is a clear connection. This energy is not just doing whatever going its way because it just is. It's because you have done work to get it to move, all right? I love this message. So far, this is totally encouragement. Keep going, Aries. Whatever you're doing right now towards manifestation or healing a component of yourself or relationship with others is working. So keep going, okay? Okay. <laughs> uh, your difficulty. 
challenge at this time. You have Queen of Cups. So a little bit of a challenge. Um, Empress is definitely sticking out. As you are working towards healing or fertility, multiplying something, uh, Queen of Cups, there is a bit of a protective quality towards the emotions with the Queen of Cups. She is uh, very similar to the Empress, healing, nurturing, psychic. She can be a little bit off-putting, too, because of how tapped into her own intuition she is towards others. I feel like the caution here, or the, um, the challenge, is opening up. If whatever happened, relationship, or just generally growing up, like I said, where the solar plexus, the I am, has taken a hit here in some way, this has absolutely caused more of that ego to come in to protect which is a part of its function. So the challenge right now is, is opening up to the degree that you need to, to allow this divine connection to come through, to allow any sort of connection. I totally feel like you can do this and you guys will. Um, this is just the, like I'm seeing um, the last couple fingers letting go of something. Okay, the other, card, the other card that comes in here to clarify your challenge, the star. The star. This is interesting. Um, so star, renewed hope, essentially. Um, this There is connecting here, like I was saying with the chakras too, the seven stars that are in the heavens um, represent the seven chakras. We connect with our seven chakras to the divine. It's this connection to the divine, God source, uh, quantum field, whatever you want to call this energy, that brings in renewed hope, that allows us to feel hope again. So I do feel that there is, um, in this process of protecting the emotions a little bit more than maybe you need to or like to, there's a need to open that up. This is what allows for a better connection here to the divine too. So you're right there on that precipice of renewed hope. What is needed right now is to, I wouldn't say like flay yourself open to where you're so uncomfortable and letting people take advantage of you. This feels more like take a chance, okay? Let let that person in a little bit. Um, if there is a no contact situation with somebody, this is a relationship, uh, and it's because both egos have made it difficult to communicate be that first person to make contact. You see what I'm saying? That's kind of what I see is like opening up a little bit. You're not totally making yourself unsafe, but open up to possibilities, right? Um, yes, awesome. I feel like two pieces of advice here for Aries. Oh, and I forgot to mention too, oh my goodness, I meant to put this at the beginning. Um, I did hit, then the, the channel hit a year here on October 6th. So to celebrate, first of all, thank you guys so much for your love and support, as always. Um, to celebrate, I am giving away a free reading. So if you're interested in putting your name in for that, I'm going to put the video at the end of this video here. It'll be down in this corner here. Um, I'll put it in the description of the video as well as a link. You can go watch that video. I just talk about my year and give you instructions on how to put your name in okay so i'll have that going for several weeks here uh no rush but if you want to put your name in feel free all right what do we have here for aries please stress cleanse and detoxify from unnecessary commitments i feel like that's um this commitment to how do i put this whatever protection is that you have going on right now that served a purpose at one point Maybe you needed it to feel safe, to get yourself to a place where you were safe, to kind of close ranks and, and build your system back up. Now, though, I don't feel like you need it, okay? It may be in your comfort zone, but it's not something that's helping you grow at this point. So this is the unnecessary commitment that you're being asked to detoxify from. Um, just overprotection. Realignment. Shift your perspective for a gained sense of clarity. Yes. It feels like, like I was saying about, um, be that first person to text somebody or whatever. This is a very slight shift that is needed to overcome these challenges. Okay, let's do, we'll do a curl. All right, 
Last Oracle card here to finish this message for Aries. And then I am going to go into an extended reading where we look at direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and then what is most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions at this time. So if you want to join me for that, I'll have links in the description of this video. Uh, if not, it was good to see you guys. So let's get this uh, influence here. Interesting. Uh, my last collective reading actually was very heavy on this. So if you feel inclined to check that out as well, I would recommend it. What do we have here for Aries? Last message, please, Spirit. Curiosity. I'm going to read this from the book here, Ghosts here at the bottom too. So for those of you that this is a relationship, uh, Ghosts encourages us to um, have an exorcism. <laughs> Whatever negative components of relationships that may still be staining your memory, you're being asked to release those. So if you are working towards healing a relationship right now and you're finding that there are still ghosts coming up, let this be your encouragement to, with love, let that go. Okay, curiosity. An open door is an open invitation for this brave crow. Now is an excellent time to consider what treasure, treasures you will find when you are brave enough to explore. Yes, to open up a little bit. Curiosity asks that you open doors, look inside, and analyze the situation. This is a time to dig in and do your research. Curiosity indicates that you are just scratching the surface. The possibilities are vaster, vaster that you are currently seeing than you are. I think there's a typo here. More vast than you are currently seeing. <laughs> However, you need to get inquisitive. When you start asking questions, a path will unfold. When curiosity appears, you will be better served by putting aside your emotions and thinking like a researcher. Hmm. Okay. Well, my Aries friends, thank you guys so much for joining me here. I hope that this message is helpful for you. Uh, like I said, I am moving into an extended, so if you want to join me there, links are in the description. I do have them for sale individually as well as on the third tier of membership if you'd like access to all of them. Personal readings are open and available. If I can help you there, please let me know. Uh, if this resonated with you in any way, please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. All great ways to support me in the growth of this channel. And I truly appreciate it, you guys. I couldn't do it without you, and you are the reason why I do this. If this did resonate with you and you feel called to, I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description too. Tips and donations are certainly accepted, not mandatory. But to those who do support the channel in that way, again, thank you guys so, so much. I couldn't do this without you. Please take care of yourselves, Aries, and I will see you all very, very soon. Okay? Be well.